You will use muscles and develop abilities you never thought you had. Left turn! Turn to the left, you dodos! Drop those bags in front of you. What do you think this is, a shopping cart? I will now explain to you a position of attention, and you will execute it and maintain that position. You will place your heels together in a line and turn your toes outward at a 45-degree angle. If you don't know what a 45-degree angle is, cover the yellow footprints. You will place the thumbs of your hands along the outside seams of your trousers, curling your fingers slightly so they touch the material of the trousers. Your arms are straight, your wrists are straight, your stomach is in, your shoulders are up, your chest is out, your chin is parallel to the ground, your head and your eyes are straight ahead and your mouth is shut and will remain that way. At all times, you will speak in a loud and clear voice. At all times, the first words out of your mouth and the last words out of your mouth will be, sir. And at all times, you will maintain the fact that you are a United States Marine boot. Is that clear? Sir, yes, sir. What did I say you are? Sir, United States Marine boot, sir. I don't hear you. Sir, United States Marine boot, sir. And don't you ever forget it. Right. Suck your gut in, fat lady. I said suck it in! Yeah, well, you lose that. Oh, my, aren't we a pretty one, eh? Curl your fingers there! Straighten up your shoulders! I hear your eyeballs moving, boy. You dare show up at a military 
my reservation in that, that, that. A marine boot? Turn around! None of your business what's going on back here! Oh. <laughs> I get it. The Pisces sent you over here, right? He picked you up downtown, put you on the bus, sent you out here, right? <laughs> What'd he pay you, huh? <laughs> no, I was... Shut your mouth! Lady, I try not to remember faces. It's not a good idea for a D.I. if I start placing faces and names together. Because then he starts thinking about you boots as human beings. But, lady, I will remember your face. I will not get your face out of my mind, and that's bad. That's very bad. Because when I want something done, you're going to weigh heavy on my mind. Why did you do this to me? I didn't have a choice. I was drafted, sir. You were drafted in the Marines. But why did you pick my Marine Corps? Maintain positions, double time. Let's go, let's go. Move out, move out. One, two, go, go, go. Are you chewing gum? Sir, yes, sir. Get it out of your mouth! Yes, sir. There are certain items in your personal possession which are not allowed upon a United States Marine base. I will not relate those items. All intoxicating beverages, all photographs and obscene literature, all subversive literature, all lewd and indecent pictures, all firearms and live ammunition, all knives, all brass knuckles and blackjacks, all narcotics, drugs of all kinds, gambling devices of all kinds, all combustibles and explosives, all prophylactics, all armed forces, ID and liberty cards, food in any form, candy, and any hypodermic needles and syringes. Is that clear? Sir! sir yes, sir! Now, if any of the above mentioned items are in your possession and you don't want them sent home to mommy and daddy, 
You will take them now out of your personal belongings and they will be collected. Now! Hey! Hey! Oh! Hey! Let's go get them, boys. You will place them in the paper boxes. You! Me, sir? Yes, what's my name? Sir! Who gave you permission to scratch? Sir, no one, sir. Then why did you scratch? Sir, it is, sir. Now you turn around. Now you listen to me, Petunia, and you listen good because I only say things once. Now you don't do nothing. I mean nothing without my permission. If I say yes, then it's yes. If I say no, then you don't breathe, you don't move. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Garbage. Yes, sir. You and me just ain't gonna get along, are we, boy? Why not, sir? Because I said so! You think that's funny? Sir, no, sir! You want to keep those teeth? Sir, yes, sir! And keep them covered! Armstrong. Let's keep it last name, Gordon. That's all that really counts around here. You've been in before? No. I was in the ROTC. Three years. Really makes you stand tall. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, you take that guy over there laying on his bunk. He's gonna make it tough for the rest of us. You know what I mean? These are lousy mattresses. How do they expect a guy to get any sleep around here? Are you kidding me? They're great. Do you know anything about this jazz? No, baby, but the man does, and I'm sure he'll be back. Name's Washington. Sidney Washington. Washington? Say it, baby. My name is Washington, too. My cell is Washington. What's happening? Hey, <laughs> that's wild. Uh, do, do you think they'll get us confused? I don't know, man. But for now on, this bunk is a depressed area. Hey, you better start folding your clothes. Yeah, come on. We don't want any goof hops in this outfit. He didn't say how he wants anything done yet. You better get yourself in gear, bud. Just fold him like you do at home. Yeah. Well, move it. Home. Everybody's been asking me for my autograph. Yeah, why? Why? For my record catch on the front page. Oh, Let me see that boy. thing. Yeah, sure, you record catch. Okay. You're so lucky. Gee, you look awful sad here. Yeah, yeah well, you never even be able to catch <laughs> coal, let alone fish. Coal? Look at that hat. You look like Pocahontas. Well, that's my granddaddy's turkey hat. It's brought me luck on this time. You know, that's the first time in 10 years of fishing that I ever caught more than you. It'll be the last time, too. <laughs> We're in the storm, boy. Yeah, I didn't know you had such a high opinion of yourself. Hey, did you read this story in the front page here? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, about our boys in Vietnam, you know? Before they go into battle here, it says they've been smoking marijuana. Well, I don't believe that, boy. Yeah, it Never 30... will. Yeah, it says you're, uh, about 30%. If a kid of mine ever did that, I'd kill him. You don't have any kids. Don't make any difference. I'd kill him anyway. Do you know what that is? That's communist propaganda, boy. That's all that is. Oh, wait, not communist. Sure it is. Man, they grow it, they sell it, they sure don't smoke it. That's not true at all. I remember up in Dong Thang. It's the deuces of our youth. That's why it's a communist plot. 
After all we do for them, they go out of here, everything goes right down the drain. We're miracle men, buddy, that's what we are. Miracle men. Who else but a miracle man could take these sissies and turn them into Marines and they... Yeah, well, I time for me to lay into them. Here, you better frame this there, champion. Listen, if you, uh, feel like finding out which way is up, meet me for game eight ball tonight. Hey, <laughs> you better practice. <laughs> taught you to do that, isn't that sweet? Did she also teach you how to make your bunk? Sir, no, sir! You'll learn. Where'd you learn to fold your skivvies like that? Sir, I... Yeah? That's the way we do it at home, sir. Oh. My mother taught me how, sir. Your mother? Yes, sir! Your mother is wrong! All your mothers are wrong! All your maids are wrong! There is only one way to do it! And what way is that? You can have one guess. The Marine way. Say it. Sir, the Marine way, sir. Again. Sir, the Marine way, sir. ROTC. Sir, yes, sir. Isabel was better. The ROTC teach you how to make that bunk. Sir, yes, sir. Tear it up. Tear it, Tear it up. Sir, yes, sir. You were wrong, but you're righter than they are. Hit the deck. You push up, I tell you to stop. One, two, three. Stop! Why aren't you wearing skivvies? I never wear shorts, sir. On your feet! What do you mean you never wear shorts? I like the freedom, sir. Now, hear this! There will be no freedom in this camp, is that clear? Sir, yes, sir! You will wear skivvies, is that clear? Sir, yes, sir! Hit the deck! You push up, I tell you to stop! I don't hear you! One, two, three! I still don't hear you! One, two, three! Sir! One, sir! Two, sir! Three, sir! Four, sir! Five, sir! Six, sir! Seven, sir! Eight, sir! Nine, sir! Ten, sir! Eleven, sir! Twelve, sir! Thirteen, sir! Fourteen, sir! Fifteen, sir! Sixteen, sir! Yes, sir! Are you idiot? Fat Washington! Yes, sir! 
Bad Washington, beginning now, you will lose weight or I will cut that blubber off you. Is that clear? Oh, yes, sir! Skinny Washington. Yes, sir! Beginning now, you will gain weight or I will take Fat Washington's blubber and shove it down your throat. Is that clear? Aye, aye, sir! Well, hop out of that back, Private. You ain't no camel, boy. Keep those feet. Man, I feel like a monkey in a cage. That's right, man. 1984 gets a little closer every day. Then every time he yells at me, my stomach gets all twisted up in knots. Well, he makes me nervous. He's supposed to. <laughs> what do you stand on your head for, man? Uh, when I'm really tired, this relaxes me. <laughs> Whew. Two years in a... Oblivion food never made me feel as sick as I feel right now. Bolivia? What were you doing in Bolivia? Peace Corps. You know, it's crazy. I come back and I'm home three days, man, and get my draft notice. Yeah, I almost joined the Peace Corps. I even thought about heading to Canada for a while. Why didn't you go? I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe it's my karma to be here, huh? <laughs> I thought that uh, you couldn't be drafted after the Peace Corps. Yeah. <laughs> now, where are you from? Oh, lots of places. I've been all over. Well, uh, what'd you do? Whatever comes natural. Kind of hard to get an answer out of you, isn't it? I, you ever been in one of those communes? Yeah, for a while. Well, uh, was, was anything like the magazines say it is, you know, uh, free love and everything? Well, that was a small part of it. <laughs> After a while, the tourists started coming around to look at the freaks, you know? Got all crowded up with the kind of people we were trying to get away from. The whole thing just sort of fell apart. That's too bad, man. It sounds like a great life. <laughs> Yeah, it's all what you make it. it. Took me a long time to realize that yesterday can't be changed and tomorrow really can't be controlled with any certainty. I just kind of shoot for the minute. <laughs> I wish I'd met you sooner before I got in this place. It's all where your head's at, man. That's all that counts. everyone in line with a crack of his voice. A Marine's Marine. Dad, I like it. You were right. We all look the same here. You can't tell a rich guy from a poor one. It's the only time in my life I've ever felt like everybody else. Tell Coach Pittman that I'm in real good shape. The exercises here are even easier than the ones he gave us. The guys already look to me as their leader. Estimado papá y mamá, que día. Nos tienen corriendo todo el día desde que hemos bajado del camión. Y gritan mucho también. Todo comienza otra vez a las 4.50 de la mañana. 
I really hate it here. Everything about it. It's depersonalizing and it's depressing. I wish I were anywhere else. And there's another guy here named Washington, but I'm positive he's no relation. Tell Leonis if he thinks they're square on the outside, you ought to take a look at him in here. Stand on your head. Sir, yes, sir. I don't want any of my troops standing on their head. Sir, yes, sir. I don't like the way you do your push ups either. Sir, yes, sir. But I'm doing them exactly as instructed, sir. I say you're doing them wrong. Ice front, not those eyeballs. You will do 100 push ups tomorrow morning before breakfast. Sir, yes, sir. The Marine way. Sir, yes, sir. You scored higher than anyone in platoon on these tests. Did you know that? Sir, no, sir. It says here you only had a year and a half high school. What happened? They kick you out? Sir, no, sir. I, I quit. I thought it was a waste of time, sir. You think learning is a waste of time? Sir, no, sir. But what they had to teach me just didn't interest me, sir. Well, then you tell me how you learned so much to score like this. Sir, I don't know, sir. Just hanging around, I guess. You trying to snow me, lady? Sir, no, sir! You ever play any organized sport? Sir, no, sir. Never really cared for them, sir. I don't understand you, Private. No high school, no teams, no supervision. And you're in better condition than the rest of my recruits. Why does that bother you, sir? I'll ask the questions around here, and there will be no more standing on your head in my barracks, mister! Sir, yes, sir. But the Private understood that he had five minutes to relax, sir. Oh, the Private did. Sir, yes, sir. Private finds standing on his head relaxes him, sir. It's, it's kind of like the drill instructor's drawing there. That, that's very good, sir. It has a great deal of freedom, yet it's, it's precise, yet very natural, sir. It's not my drawing. Sir, yes, sir. Get out of my sight. Aye, aye, sir. Hey, boy, boy. I just come to a big decision on the way over here. Yeah, what? I'm gonna let you beat me tonight in the game of eight ball. Shh. You don't have to let me do that. Let's go. Come on. No, I, I, I got the night. Come on, I'll buy you a beer. What do you say? Did you ever hear? Did you ever hear of a boot who never finished high school scoring the highest of anybody on these tests? I said it's impossible. Yeah, well, look. Look in here. Look, look at that. You're some kind of a genius. Yeah. Huh? Adrian. Mm -hmm. Ain't that that hippie? Yeah. I guarantee you something. He got the highest score, man. He cheated. How can you cheat? I don't know, but I'll guarantee you he cheated. That's a tough test, man. Well, let's go with beer, huh? Uh, no, no. Uh, later, later. I, I gotta uh, I gotta put the baby to bed.
minutes. Are those teeth brushed? They're ready for inspection in one and one half minutes. Move! You all enjoyed your push-ups today, didn't you? Sir, yes, sir! But you're going to enjoy them even more tomorrow, aren't you? Sir, yes, sir! You think you look silly in your new hairdos, don't you? Sir, no, sir! You'd like your girlfriends to see you now, wouldn't you? Sir, yes, sir! You'd all like to go to sleep now, wouldn't you? Sir, yes, sir! What? You don't really want to go to sleep, do you? Sir, no, sir! You'd like to run a few laps, wouldn't you? Sir, yes, sir! You are Marines, aren't you? Sir, no, sir! But you're going to become Marines, aren't you? Sir, yes, sir! I don't hear you, people. Sir, yes, sir! I still don't hear you, people! Sir, yes, sir! Hit the racks. You ladies will enjoy your push-ups, won't you? Shut up. Go to sleep. You people will not stand on your left eyebrow, won't you? Yes, mother. <laughs> I can't hear you, girls. Come on, shut up. Yeah, then uh, this is stupid. You people are stupid, aren't you? <laughs> yes, sir. I don't understand garbage. <laughs> All right, chickens, it's 4.50. Let's not sleep the day away. Out of those racks! I want you on your feet and attention when I pass by. Move it! Ginkler, Sanchez, 10 on the deck. Let's go out on Washington, 10 on the deck. Move it! What do you think you're doing? I said, what do you think you're doing? Sir, exercising, sir. What, your butt? No, sir, my mind, sir. Forget your mind. I'll tell you what to think and when to think and how to think. Is that clear? Sir, yes, sir. Get on the deck, now. Yes, sir. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Washington, come on, pick it up, Washington, pick it up, pick it up. 
All right, Fat Washington. Get him up there. Get him up there. Get him up there. Get him up there. We're just banging orders, Shirley. Yes, sir! sick, sir. I, I really feel terrible. That's no good, Private Clinton. You tried that yesterday. One more time, I'm going to put you back. You still feel sick, boy? No, no, sir. I don't hear you. Sir! No, sir! Oh! You weren't feeling anything. I didn't then before. I sure do now. Well, uh, what about when you had all that double time to do? You were actually smiling. It, it seemed like you were enjoying the whole thing. I was. You just got to put yourself in the right frame of mind, Sidney. Well, uh, could you, uh, could you teach me how to do what I mean? Could you give me a few pointers?
Well, see, it's it's not like uh, self hypnosis or anything like that. It's it's uh, well, come it's on. magical. It's it's kind of like taking your mind right. to another planet, you know. Yeah, you're separating your mind from your body, right? Well, could we all learn how to do it? Look, if I can do it, you can do it, right? I've just about had enough of this. You know, you're out of your head, man. What are you doing? You know, you're messing with these guys' minds. Hey, man, so does Uncle Sam. We're sick of your anti-American talk. Come on, square. We don't want square. you and your kind around here. Come on. Oh. Oh, you falling for this hippie's propaganda. Get back, back in the crew, room, baby. Get back in the crew. He doesn't belong here. You can't Shh. listen to him. That's the song, oh, man. Sir, just some basic recondital medication. Don't give sir. me any of that double talk. You're destroying the unity of my platoon. No, sir. I'm only trying to help that little guy, Sidney, sir. He's the weakest. I, I say you are destroying the unity of my platoon. Do you hear me, lady? Yes, sir. I'm considering sending you back to motivation platoon. Do you know what that means? No, sir. You will have DIs much tougher than me crawling all the way up your back 24 hours a day, six days a week. Every hour of those 24 hours, you'll wish you were dead. Now, is that what you want, Private? No, sir. Well, then you shape up and you join my platoon. Yes, sir. Now, what were you telling them in the barracks last night? Sir, I was explaining the fundamentals of recondital meditation, sir. Okay. Knock off that double talk, I said. Whatever it is, I don't like it. Yes, sir. Sir, the private would like to know the point of holding up the buckets. Is it to strengthen our arms and determination to instill pride and self-confidence, sir? The point of this exercise is to save your life. Whether you understand it or not is unimportant. That I order it done is sufficient for you to do it. Yes, sir. Without question. Yes, sir. Get back to your platoon. Aye, aye, sir. Very nice chap, sir. Thank you, sir. Very nice, sir. Thank you. Gee, I didn't think religion was going to be part of our basic training. Well, you know, many of parents sent us a boy, and with the Lord's help, it's gotten back a Marine. <laughs> oh, every muscle in my body is killing me. Oh, it feels good. Hey, Adrian. Teach us some more. How about it? Come on. What do you say? Yeah. 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 Wait a minute, you guys. Hey, that's right. If you can do it with the buckets, then we can do it with practically anything else. Hey, uh, dear, yeah, dear, yeah. dear, dear, even the three-mile run. Yeah, yeah, it's three mile run. Shh, shh. Even that stationary double time. Oh, oh double my time, man. Oh, All right. Come on. And, 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 wait a minute. And drill, 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 and push up. Oh. Hey, hey, you know, it really involves a lot of deep concentration. You really got to get into it. Are you kidding? Hey, it's really important to us. How about it? Hey, hey, look who's joining the club, Scrunch Gordon. Oh, 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 hey, Mr. Fogley. Oh, guys. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> come on, let's get started. Yeah, I'll be right there. See you inside, huh? Got yourself some downers, huh? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to make it, Adrian. Yeah, I can dig it. I'm not so sure I'm going to make it myself. You want some of mine? No, I'll pass. Well, I couldn't start the day without them. Yeah, I'm hip to it. For two years, I couldn't leave the house without downers. Yeah, it's just really a drag trying to face all that every day. It's insane. <laughs> That's just the way I feel, man. Yeah, but you know what happened then, Quint? I started doing uppers to counteract the downers and function at a normal level, which is... Really, just where I was at to begin with. Yeah, but that's, that's what I mean. 
I just can't function in this place. I think I'm about ready to flip out. Maybe you should. What? Tell them the truth. Tell them you're sick. You're so nervous you don't think you can make it. <laughs> you think they'd really believe me? I don't know. You look awful sick to me. Thank you. Look, man, I'm looking better, right? I mean, check this out. Yeah, you're giving me nightmares. Oh, baby, I done lost a lot of weight, Sanchez. I mean, just look at this muscle ripple. Your neck. My neck? What about my neck? It's still fat. It hasn't lost any weight at all. Well, look at it. It's disgusting, man. Say, Sanchez, what are you saying, man? How's the person supposed to lose weight in their neck? That's Drake. He's probably got an exercise for it. Well, it's like the key to the whole thing is calmness. Inner calm. It's tranquility. It's feeling good. And it's not being where the pain is. And it's like you have to take yourself on a real mental trip. You have to separate yourself from what's happening. It's like... Divorce thought from action by breaking thought down to its essence. And then you have to visualize something that, something that's felt good to you before that you remember is good to take the place of, of the pain. Think of, think of, of, of the thing that you've experienced before. It's like re-experience until it all becomes more real than real. And then you have to visualize and taste and smell and feel. And it just fills your head until there's nothing else there. Nothing else exists. And then you're there. Some. You feeling okay? You got anything you want to talk to me about? Well, actually, Doctor, I've got a lot of troubles. I mean it, Drake. Drake, everything's okay between us, huh? Uh, come over to hold your hand. Seems to me things have been hanging pretty heavy with you lately. Oh, come on, Frank. Come on. I haven't got time for this today. Oh, it's true. I mean, I'm not the only one who's noticed it. I mean, a lot of the other guys have been interested in things, too. Yeah, like what? Well, like your whole attitude. It's like you're softening up or something. It's like you just don't care. Well, that's crazy. No, it's true. I got drilled this morning. I mean, hell, it's 110 degrees out there on that grinder, and you platoon looked happy. Yeah, so? Well, it's not like you, Drake. You should have been out there kicking yourselves a few butts. Their marching was superior. I'm not talking about their marching. I'm talking about their attitude. It was wrong. I noticed it clear across the grinder. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thanks for checking up on me, Frank, old buddy. Oh, checking up on you? What are you talking about, checking up? Drake, I'm just telling you, you ain't the same with this bunch, not... 
I think it's got something to do with the hippie. Now, has it? I don't know. It seems to me there's something peculiar. Frank, about... listen, I'm behind in my paperwork. Thanks for giving me the pep talk, right? Okay, boy. If you're in trouble, anything, you just come to me, okay? Sooner or later, you're going to have to qualify. There is no way around it. Adrian, you fire, so help me. I'll send you back to a motivation platoon. Now, do you hear me, boy? Yes, sir. Then fire! Yes, sir. Listen, uh, C.O. heard about your boy not firing out there today on the range. Yeah, how'd he hear about that? <laughs> How's he hear about anything? You know, buddy, you can't uh, let some hippie punk foul up your platoon average. i tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take him off your hands, Drake. I'm gonna transfer him. Don't, I wish you wouldn't do that, Frank. I really wish you wouldn't. Yeah, I've given you a lot of thought. That's what I'm gonna yeah, do. Come on, now, what are you? Just because you're Chief D.I., you put a rank on Chief, me? Yeah, <laughs> You can't privilege one recruit over another. Now, you well, know that. On, I don't care what the book says. The kid's got a problem I can handle. It's all right. Oh, he's got you, Drake. He's got himself. Yeah, well, I'm going to transfer him. Don't do it, Frank. Well, now, he'll rip you down, boy. I know that. That's my problem, not yours. Well, I'm making it my Look, problem. Look, get off I'm my gonna... back, huh? I'm not going to get don't off. Don't bug me. Just bug off. OK, buddy, I won't bug you. You can count on it.
ball and you out on the grinder today, Quentin. You know you're left and you're right. Sir! Yes, sir! Well, then how come your rifle was on your left shoulder when I distinctly ordered right shoulder arm? Sir! The private corrected that mistake, sir! The private corrected that mistake when I said left shoulder arms, and your rifle was in your right shoulder, wasn't it? Sir! Yes, sir! And then when I said left shoulder arms, your rifle was in your right shoulder, right? Sir! Yes, sir! Do you know your left from your right, Private Quentin? Sir, yes, sir! Put your arm up. Not that one, the other one, you idiot! Now, what arm is that? Sir, my right arm, sir! Drop it! Left arm, up! Drop! Right arm, drop! Left arm! Who told you to drop that arm? Keep it up there until I order you not to! Drop it! Left arm, up! Now, Private Quentin, you keep that arm up in the air until I decide that you should take it down. And then maybe you'll remember which is your right from your left. Get out of my sight. Aye, aye, sir! Hi, Drake. Oh, a little rotation, buddy? Yeah, yeah, let's wait. Hey, I tell you about last weekend. No, gee, you should have been there. Larry and I went up Snake River about five miles past the campground, and we found a spot that I can't even tell you about it. Yeah? In the first hour, we caught ten of the biggest trout you could ever hope to see. No kidding. Listen, uh, I'm not telling everybody about this, but if you want to join us this weekend, you and Sergeant DePeister, we got room. Uh, no, no thanks, Mike. No, I'm a mid-cycle. So what? You've left your people on a Sunday before. They're probably better off without you anyway. <laughs> What's the matter? Something eating you? No. Well, there probably is, but nobody ever tells the chaplain anything. Are we here to talk or play pool, Mike? Now, come on, let's go. It's your shot. Let's go. No, it's your shot. I'll sleep the day away.
Wow. Boy, what a waste. I don't know, man. I can't do anything right. They're always on my back yelling at me, man. Every, every time I turn around, there's old Sergeant Drake, man, staring right down my throat. He's just waiting for me. Just waiting for me to make a mistake so he can start in on me. Quentin. You know, it's not only you, it's all of us. Right. Yeah, right. No! It's me, man! It's me! I, I'm the one he picked. It's, it's me, man. It's me! You know something? You're nuts, man. Come on, Clint. You gotta get it together, man. Get in that room. I thought we were doing pretty great. We are. Sir, I didn't push you. You don't talk. You don't talk back to a DI boot. You don't talk. But come on, get on in. Start this course over again. Come on, back at the beginning. Let's go. What? What's the whole app? What's the whole app? Just give me a little back talk here, sweetheart. Are you disobeying the orders of a DI? No, sir. And you do what the chief says. You start this course over again. Aye, aye, sir. Pull it. Let's get up these lines here. You too, you sick bay. Come on, I'll go back there with your buddy and start the course again. Hi, hi, sir! Move it, move it! Let's get these lines up here. Let's get them up there. Come on, come on, jump it in here. Let's go. All right, 15 minutes of scrub up and inspection for job time. Since that was only a vacation, let's move it. Come. Watch where you're going, you idiot. Stop too, boy, when I talk to you. Sir, yes, sir. Let me get a look at you. I never got this close to no flyer child before. What kind of flyer are you, boy? Huh? Are you a daisy? Sir, no, sir. You're not a daisy. Are you a sweet pea, boy? Sir, huh? no, sir. I bet you're a sweet pea. Are you a sweet pea? Sir, no, sir. Sir, no, sir, what? I can't hear you, boy. Sir, no, sir. Sir, no, sir, what? Sir, no, sir, I'm not a sweet piece, sir. I don't like the tone of your voice, boy. I think you're mad at me. Would you like to hit me, Private? Would you like to hit me, Private? Sir, no, sir. I think the Private would like to hit me. Well, I tell you what, Private. I'm going to put my hands behind my back. Now, you take one. Just hit me once, right here. Go ahead, give me one. Come on, give me a knuckle sandwich, boy. Oh, come on, Mary. Wouldn't you like to give me a little slap? Wouldn't you like to hit me with your purse, sweetheart? All oh, right, come on, come on. Are you the party you begin to wear me thin, baby. You know that? You're wearing me thin, Private. I don't you like to be wearing thin. I get mean when I'm worn thin. Ahead, I'm man. having me a little class. I said move out, sir. Yes, sir. Classy. Hey, Drake, I wasn't I don't through with that. I want you disciplining my troops, Frank. <laughs> you what? You don't want what? You heard me. I don't want you touching my men. Well, now, Drake, buddy, you know I can discipline any recruit in I this. I said lay off my men, Frank, and I mean it. Hippie. Oh, wow, man. Quint, this has got to be the worst. I can't even believe it. 
just a giant effort just to survive every day here. Oh, and that deep paster. Uh, he can't be considered normal, not even in this place. Quentin. Hey, Quentin. My ticket home, mate. There is no ticket home, you idiot. No. What happened? Oh. Go get Drake at a doctor. Oh, my gosh. Now, move! Go on, get gone! Move! Okay, okay. No, Adrian. Leave me alone. So what's the matter with you, anyway? Leave me alone, Adrian. Sydney, get that doctor, please! What do you mean, no ticket home, Adrian? If any of you are thinking the same thoughts as Private Quentin, you should read this little book. You will notice that the text and the accompanying illustrations show how to kill a man, including yourself, including slitting your wrists properly. This makes the whole process much more efficient and much less time-consuming we're all parties concerned. I want you all to read it. Pass it around among yourselves. When you've completed the assignment, you will sign your name and serial number on the last page. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't hear you very clearly tonight, gentlemen. Sir! Yes, sir! Since you kiddies are so eager for fun and games, I have decided to arrange an exercise for you this morning to work off your excess energy. Now, I will take great delight in watching you ladies beat each other with pugil sticks. 
Now, there will be winners and there will be losers. The losers will find yourselves assigned to remedial mess duty forever. Is that clear, ladies? Sir, yes, sir. Private Adrian. Sir. Get something on your head. Private Washington. Sir. Uh, not you, fats. Skinny Washington, hand in the bucket. Come on, let's go, Sidney. Let's go, Sidney. Let's go, Sidney. Let's go, Sidney. What do you think you're doing? Sir, I thought that... You thought what? What did you think? Did I tell you to think? No, sir. I told you not to think, didn't I? Yes, sir. Pick up that pugil stick. Yes, sir. Pat Washington. Yes, sir. Get that bucket on your head. Private. 
What are you doing in that rack? What do you think this is, nap time? No, sir. What are you doing here, anyway? Are you supposed to be with the others on free time at the PX? Yes, sir. Well, maybe the private doesn't want to leave his barracks. The private does, sir. Maybe he doesn't want his free time. The private does, sir. Well, then move out. Yes, sir. Sir, I thought it was the private's privilege to spend free time where he wants, sir. Oh, you did, huh? Well, you're wrong. When I say go, you go. By your leave, sir. You hang on, don't you? You still hang on. Yeah, the whole trouble... You don't understand, Private. You, you have to change. I have changed, sir. Physically. You know, I'm going to be a, a full-fledged, 100% basic Marine in two days. But you really can't expect to change me and ignore my mind. Yeah, well, we've been doing it successfully for the past 195 years. Maybe, but that doesn't work anymore, sir. Not today, not with us. You know, you really don't know us, sir. You expect us to buy all this in the name of patriotism like it was some sort of a privilege to... Shut your mouth! If I know you and I know your kind, I know your philosophy, and I don't want it, I don't like it. For your information, it is a privilege to serve your country. More than that, it's a necessity. Because we're at war, and war is a fact of life, Private Adrian. Good, bad, or indifferent, man has not been able to survive without war. It's a balance of nature, lady. Yes, sir. I guess I'll never make it as a soldier, sir. God's truly in love. Lonely soldier, what he is, what he was, God will forgive each lonely soldier and understand the things he does. A single silent soldier does each task that must be done. He's the hero, he's the villain. Rights are gathering, rights are gathering, in my heart sparrow sings, must we learn? What he is, what he was, God will forgive each lonely soldier and understand the things he does. Departure of Scenic Cruiser 1072B. 
Phoenix, Albuquerque, and Fort Worth. All aboard, please. Better leave the country. After 30 days, you're a deserter. Thanks. As a matter of fact, you're AWOL right now. I know. You're out of uniform. You could be arrested. Hey, leave me alone, will you? I'm not listening to you anymore. This isn't the Boy Scouts, you know. I mean, you can't just quit simply because you disagree with us. We're from different tribes, Sergeant. Two completely different worlds. You don't understand mine, yet you force me to accept yours. You know, your whole world is, is four walls and some bunks. I think you've lost touch with life. Your whole bag is death. My whole bag is defending my country. I don't equate militarism with patriotism. I can't. I'm never going to carry a gun, and I won't kill anybody. And that's where it's at, isn't it? And not quite. I carry guns, and I've killed men, simply so that you and I can sit here and talk like this. And death is still a common denominator. OK. Why haven't you left yet? Why didn't you take the first bus out of here? I don't know. I'm scared. And not of what you people can do to me, either. Yeah. It's just that I'm confused. I always thought I knew my own head. You know, it's like, I know what I left back there is wrong, but I'm not so sure that running away is the right thing to do. Well, then, why don't you go back? Sergeant, I know what that camp is and what it represents. And there's not a thing I can do to change it. Anyway, I'm only one guy. I, I can't fight all of you. Then why don't you leave? Let's go buy your uniform back. graduation uniform you get into your dungarees. All right, sir. Just hold it right there, Private. Snap to, clown. Hey, Drake. Listen, buddy, it looks like your boy ain't graduating. His orders have been changed. He's been sent back to a motivation platoon. That's impossible. He's graduating tomorrow. I passed him. Yeah, well, I guess the CO didn't. Failure to qualify on the rifle range, I think it says there. Whose idea was... Look, just uh, don't give me any static now, Drake, yeah? Because you're in enough trouble already, boy, all right? It's a kid you're after, isn't it, Depeyster? It's not for the Corps. You want him. Boy, I'm going to pretend I didn't hear you say that. All right, sweetheart. Lady, you're in my hands now. And I'm going to start you at the beginning. The very beginning, girl. And if you don't get it perfect, I'm going to set your tail back, and we're going to start it all over again. You're slouching, lady. You're still slouching, lady. I said you're slouching, lady! 
All right, boy. Now you get in there and you get your gear together and prepare to move out. Now move! Aye, aye, sir. Boy, everything I do is for the core, and don't you forget it. club tonight for some eight ball. I'll skin you alive. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, about that hippie. Adrian? Yeah, well, whatever his name was. He he went over the hill last night. Man, I sure hate to be in his shoes when they catch him. You know, I knew all along you was wasting your time, Drake. He just didn't have what it takes. sister for the entire period you are here at Marine Corps Recruit Depot. You will be treated like a man if you act like a man. And at all times, you will maintain the fact that you are a United States Marine boot. Is that clear? Sure, yes, yes, sir. sir. What did I say you are? Sir, United States Marine boot, sir. And don't you ever forget it. <laughs> 